Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set up recurring payments in QuickBooks Desktop. This is very handy for payments that are always the same every month. So, for instance, perhaps you have a loan payment on construction equipment to make. Uh, maybe you have an automatic withdrawal for, say, insurance. Uh, that's the same every month. So, to get started, there's two ways to do this. To get started, let's set up a memorized payment while we actually create the first check. So, let's go to Write Checks. And let's write a check for our equipment loan. So let's say we just took out a loan from Bank One and our payments are going to be $1,000 a month. Okay, and so we're charging the $1,000 to the note payable account. So all this looks good. This is the first payment due on November 1st. So let's go ahead and save this transaction. And now let's memorize this transaction to make it recurring. So we're going to memorize it. <coughs> call our memorized transaction just bank one we are going to automate it we want it to occur monthly and the next date we've already created the November 1st one so our next date will be December 1st and we'll say it's a 36 month loan and so we have 35 remaining again because we've already created the first one okay now we can enter three here this will enter the transaction three days prior to the first it'll enter it into our check register so that we see that it's coming up okay so we can click OK and then tra transaction is now memorized so we'll look in a second at how we can view our memorized transactions and make changes but for now let's save and close out of this okay to see the other way to set up a memorized transaction let's go to your check register now here in the check register, we can actually see the November 1st payment to Bank One that we just set up, so that's great. Um, but let's set up another memorized payment. So here we have Aon Insurance for $24. Let's say that's a monthly payment that's automatically taken out of our account um, on the 10th of every month. So let's set up a recurring payment here. So I'm going to highlight the transaction, and then I can go to Edit, Memorize Check. Brings up the same screen we were just working with. So I'm going to automate the transaction. We want it to occur monthly. The next date would be, let's assume it's the 10th of every month. So the next date will be October 10th. Um, and let's say, let's just set it up for one year at a time because perhaps the insurance expense will change after a year. So this way we have to go in and actually review it every year, make sure the payment is still the correct amount. Um, and we'll enter it into our register a couple of days early okay so let's hit OK and now nothing shows up now because it won't occur until October 10th which is in the future okay so we've set up two recurring payments uh, how do you edit the payments once you've set them up how do you delete a payment uh, to view our payments we're going to go to lists and then we're going to go to memorized transaction list Okay, and here we see the two memorized transactions we've set up. So if you need to edit one of them, you just highlight it and go to Edit, Memorize the Transaction. And here is the screen we worked with before, so you can change any of these details. Now notice you can't change the amount of a recurring transaction. So if you need to change the amount, you're going to have to delete the recurring transaction and create a new one. So if we wanted to delete the Aon Insurance transaction so it no longer occurs, we could do Edit, Delete, Memorize the Transaction. Brings me up a warning. Are you sure you want to delete it? Hit OK. And there we've deleted it. Now we could set it up with a different amount. OK, great. Well, that's how you set up recurring payments and that's how you can edit and delete recurring payments to your vendors in QuickBooks Desktop. I hope this video was helpful. Please Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Desktop if you would like some other great QuickBooks Desktop tutorials.